The Universal Explorer Odyssey 9 drifted through the darkness. She was on a mission to explore the uncharted reaches of the Andromeda Galaxy. Captain Eleanor Hayes and her crew were seasoned astronauts. They had made similar journeys dozens of times through the years. As they ventured deeper into that unknown void, something inexplicable occurred. They were just subtle anomalies. At first, untraceable whispers over the intercom, shadows flitted across the edge of vision, and they began to experience the sensation of being watched. Engineer Marcus Black was the first to alert the crew of the unusual phenomena. He ran diagnostics in the control room late one night. He saw a figure reflected in the screen. An astronaut in an antique suit stood behind him. There was no face inside its visor glass, but when he turned, the room was empty. Navigator Yuki Tanaka then reported the same figure in her sleeping quarters. It stood silently at the foot of her bed. The apparition she described was eerily familiar. It wore the suit of a long-lost astronaut. It looked like black smoke moved behind its visor. The crew's fear began to escalate when they found the presumed lost records of Odyssey 1. Their predecessor disappeared without a trace decades before on its maiden voyage. They came close enough to receive her last transmission. It was a garbled message about a shadowy figure in an antique spacesuit. Captain Hayes led an investigation into the ship's logs once they were close enough. The Odyssey 1 had an Omega M3 database. Nearby ships could use auxiliary power to restart her memory and retrieve the last 24 hours of the ship's logs and recordings. The Odyssey 1 was believed to have vanished in the same sector they now explored. Apparently, it didn't vanish. It just couldn't detect life forms aboard any longer and shut itself down to conserve power. They could obtain records, but still weren't close enough to detect the ship's exact coordinates. They first believed the intruding presence might be a remnant of that ill-fated crew, forever lost in the cosmos. Perhaps the spirits sought to warn or to collect other souls. It became clearer as time passed. Whatever was aboard with them had also been aboard the One. The unexplained activity grew in intensity as well as boldness. Lights flickered. They suffered a series of potentially devastating equipment failures. They began to see more shadowy figures aboard the ship. The investigation into the old ship showed the occupants of that ill-fated crew likewise saw the shades of former astronauts and experienced bizarre anomalies. It didn't start with them. It ended with them. The phenomena lasted a week and continued to claim life after life. Eventually, the old captain was all that remained. He succumbed to madness. Their ship had been so severely disabled it wouldn't propel in any direction. Supplies were nearly out. Bodies were everywhere. None of the outside communication systems functioned. He even recorded his walk to the cargo door in the rear of the ship and his intentional opening of the airlock. The last frame showed his dead body levitating in the cargo hold. One phantom shade had become two, then three. The final event aboard the Odyssey 9 came several days later. Security cameras caught several phantom figures clustered at an airlock. They almost succeeded in opening it with four crew members nearby. As eager as the explorers were to reclaim the original Odyssey, it was clear would never happen. The shades damaged more and more of her electronics. They decided to abandon the mission and return to Earth or risk becoming another ghostly legend that was lost among the stars. They deleted all records they'd retrieved from the Odyssey One. The world would never know what happened to her. She would continue to drift out there, lost in that void. Whatever lived aboard her would live alone. And the crew of the Odyssey Nine hoped it stayed that way. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share to keep fascinating content coming here at Nightmare Nexus.